Oftentimes to handle the normal distribution, we're handed tables full of numbers or we use Excel or something like that. I wanted to create a visual using Mathematica to show how these probabilities relate to the geometry of what's going on. And let me show you how to do that now. So we want to give a visualization of the probability density function of the normal distribution with a given mean and a standard deviation. So first of all, how do you calculate normal distribution probabilities in Excel? You can do that with the probability function. For example, if I want a z-score less than 2, I could just say, let me let my z-score go from negative infinity to 2. And I want z to follow a normal distribution going 0 to 1. And I also want to make sure I put the end function around this so I don't get values of the error function. And so there I have it. That would be the probability going from 0 to 2 and there's a standard normal curve. Now how do you get this distribution function? You can hit escape, dist, tab, and it'll give you that distribution symbol, which is very useful. All right, now what would be neat is if we made a um, function, which we'll call norm dist, and here my variables are going to be, it's a four variable function. I want a mean, a standard deviation, a starting point, and an end point. And all I'm going to do is do that probability function of the normal curve. I'm going to go from A to B. And I'm going to let X follow a normal distribution with mean M, standard deviation S. If I want to say norm dist 0, 1, 0, 1 0.73, this would be the probability of going from 0 to 1.73 of the standard normal curve with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1, like that. All right, so there it is. Um, now, I can easily calculate probabilities like this, so I don't need the table anymore, but I want a visualization of this. So the way I could visualize the normal curve is by, let's take my normal distribution. We'll stay standard normal, but we could easily change that. And I put the X there because... I'm looking now at the, the PDF of the normal distribution, and I want to plot the PDF, the probability density function. Let's go from negative 3 to 3. I think that's sufficient because we know that going three standard deviations in both directions gives you 99.7% of the curve. And I'm going to label this graph K so we can reference it later. So there is the actual curve. That's the whole curve. But this norm dist 0, 0.1, 0, 1.73, would be the area under the curve going from 0 up to 1.73. So now what I want to do to get a good visualization of this is I'm going to create a new function, which I call norm graph. And we want the same inputs, mean, standard deviation, a beginning point, and an end point. And what I'm going to do is show, because I want to plot two different things. First thing I want to do is plot what we just calculated with a mean m, standard deviation s, and we'll plot that from negative 3 to 3. Then I also want to plot the same thing, well, almost, but this time I'm only going to plot from A to B. All right, so now if I say norm graph, let's use the same numbers. How about 0, 1, 0, 1.73, for example? Well, I just get the same picture, okay? So because what I'm doing is I'm overlapping two curves. I have the full curve, and then I only have a part of the curve, which goes from A to B. And the reason I did that is because I want to add in some things here. For example... I want to fill just to the axis. So that'll give me the area under the curve. Okay, so now I've added these extra features here. And what this means is I'm going to have a filling down to the axis. And I'm going to fill that with green with an opacity of 0.5. And I want my plot range to stay negative 3 to 3 in the x direction, 0 to 0 0.41 in the y direction. And so now when I hit shift enter, there it gives me the shaded region from 0 to 1.73. And see the original, the show plot norm, dot, uh, norm distribution would just be from negative 3 to 3. That's the entire blue curve. And the second one is just the green area. All right, another thing I can do, let me add in a plot legends. And the plot legend I want is the norm dist msab. And that way, not only do I have the graph, I get the probability as well that we can see right here. All right, now what's really cool is if I take that norm graph and I put a manipulator around it. And, for example, if I want to stay a standard normal curve, I'll just say 0 to 1, A to B. And then I can vary my A to B, which is my starting point and end point. Let's start with A going from negative 3, and we can go up to 2.9. And how about B goes from 
negative 2.9 up to 3. And then when I do that, I get this output here. Um, and as I drag B, B across, you can see the shaded region filling up the normal curve with the probabilities trending up to 100%. And if I want between two values, I can just drag my A up as well. All right, so if I had a question that said, hey, I needed a probability between negative 0 0.145 up to 2.014, I just type it in, and then I get a probability of 0 0.829984, which would be about, what, about 83%. Now I have a great way not just to visualize my probability, not just to calculate my probability, but I can actually relate it to the geometry seeing the area under the curve. And again, Mathematica is great for this kind of thing. And I think this is a great thing to show students. If you have questions on this, I'd be glad to help. I hope this is useful. Thanks for watching.